Hey, my name is Happy. I help candidates in .NET interview preparation. We will explore this interview question today. Let's start. This is a SQL query question. Write a SQL query to fetch all the employees who are also managers. Suppose you have a employee table. Here all the employees with their employee ID are present. Managers are also employed, so they are also present with their employee ID. Now most of the employee will have a manager. Therefore, in the same table, there is a manager ID will be there, which is nothing but the employee ID of the manager of that employee. Now your task is to get the employee name with his or her manager name. So how we will solve this? Now come to the solution. The solution is we will solve this by using self join because we don't have any other table here and there is no such column like manager name. So this is how we will solve this. See here we have the left join between the tables employee and the again the table employees and we are using the different alias name one is E and one is M. So when we will join on m dot employee id equal to e dot manager id, this will give the list of the employee first name and the manager first name. So what we are trying to do here is, if you already know self join, then I think uh, you already get it. But if you don't know, uh, let me repeat this: that self join is a type of join where you will join one table with itself. Uh, so one table is referring here employee. So employees table is uh, uh, one table is like employee which will be E and another table will be referred as like manager. So you can think about this that we have divided this one table into two table one is E and another one is M. And then we are joining now two different table one have this manager table have this employee id and employee table have this manager id so this is how self join work basically we uh, not actually but logically we are breaking this table into two tables one is for employee and then another was is for managers and then we are joining both these tables to get the first name of the employee and first name of the manager and here will be the result you will get employee name first name is this and manager and his manager name is this